Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Satisfactory. Now, in the last episode, uh, we managed to, uh, to construct this rather magnificent and perplexing looking conveyor belt. Uh, don't get too excited about it, it's only there to convey me presently uh, up to the top deck where the iron is. Uh, for our next trick, uh, we're going to find out where the, uh, the nearest copper supply is. I've not looked yet, so it could be, could be anywhere at all. Uh, so let's hit the scanner. Now, obviously, the, the sooner the ping goes off, the closer it is. There'll be a ping. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's only half a kilometre away. How oh, jolly, jolly useful. Uh, the good news is that it is in a, a similar direction to the iron, so, uh, so we can ride the belt up there. Stick around and uh, I'll be riding on my belt. Well, having ascended the mountain, uh, it is rather further away uh, than I'd hoped, um, but uh, with a bit of luck, uh, it's uh, it's not going to be so far that we can't get to it uh, without uh, without having to invest too much in further infrastructure. Now then, uh, you're going to have to invest in further infrastructure here. Uh, I've I've brought along a modicum of uh, of materials to uh, to build uh, conveyors with, uh, less for their uh, their transportation function and more uh, because uh, it allows for a, a little bit of bridge building. Uh, if the need uh, is kind of uh, the need arises, where are you now? You're on the same level as I am now, uh, but uh, you're probably round the other side of this rock. Okay, well that's that's not uh, that's not an impossibility. I'm completely unarmed still. Uh, this this only occurs to me now that I'm venturing out into the flaming jungle again, where the uh, where the wild things are. And uh, I doubt very much when I encounter them, they'll be having any kind of a wild thing jamboree, uh, of which to which I may be invited. Uh, where are you? Up? Down? Just tell me. Tell me where you are. Down. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, well, I'm going to go up because, uh, well, realistically, I haven't got a choice in the matter. So this is this is where my uh, my bridge building kit is likely to come in handy. Oh hello, I'm being I'm being stalked. I saw you. All right, okay. Run around. Oh crikey, he's he's uh, he's committed. Oh, ouch. Uh, right. Oh, it's two of them. Okay, right. Make a make a beeline for the pool. And uh, yeah, that that's that'll do. Thanks, lad. Uh, boom. Right now then, has that uh, has that put them off? Even oh no, there's another one over there. Oh no, not this again. We're we're back in the flipping jungle with the beasts. Right. Okay. Uh, the the uh, the death location for those of you not uh, not au fait with the series so far is uh, well. I mean that's where I died. It's where quite a lot of my stuff. No no, don't throw the those on the floor. I need those. I don't think you can touch me while I'm swimming, Gov. Just, if, oh no, I dropped me berries. Where did I drop them? Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm being pursued from flipping everywhere. Let's let's make a beeline for a, a way. Yeah, all right. En enjoy your dip, gentlemen. Oh, okay, I've got it. Right, okay, good. Oh, God, there's another one. Come on, chow down on all of this and you might just survive. Uh, right, ping it again. Whatever. <laughs> it, no, I don't really care where the uh, copper is at this point. Uh, coming out here unarmed was uh, was an error in judgment. Oh, no, that's another one. Ouch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. Yeah, that's nice. No, good. It's lovely to be here on your. Uh, well, it's my planet. You're only the uh, the temporary uh, occupants. Oh, go away. I'm really no threat to you. Hey, oh, what are you? I, I don't care. No, no, it's, it's a work in progress. Whatever it is, we don't need it. Um, right. Now then, how exactly do you plan on getting these aggro what's it's away from you so that you can harvest a little bit of copper without dying? Well, I mean, that largely depends on how much copper you're talking about. There's, there's an aggro what's it just... I think you can hear another one, and he won't be alone. You should have come out here with with a uh, electro zapper. There, there it is. Right. Okay. So what? What are you thinking? Hit and run mining. 
There you go. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't get any. Well done. Yeah, but I moved at the right time, though. You've got to you've got to respect that. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. Um, oh, oh no, no. Right, okay. New plan. Don't die. All right, okay. Right, the copper off. We're going home. Keep your ears peeled. We uh, we don't want to get snuffed uh, by uh, by Messrs. Pig Dillo and friends. Uh, Although, you know, the likelihood of that happening is increasing, but, oh, Nick has... Oh, yeah, you, you can drop to here. There you go. And then, what is this? This, this is just boulders. Oh, that's flipping useless. Right, anything else nearby? I don't want to go up there. There's a virtual zoo. Uh, just kind of sitting there going like, whoa, oh, we're knocking about. No, we eat copper, you see. That's why you can't have any. All right, well, let's, let's go fishing for another source then. That one, far too flipping dangerous. Right, here we go. Back at base-ish, kind of. Sort of, I think. Yeah, it's there, look. You sure that's not a crashed what's not? Uh, crashed what's it? It's not a crashed what's it. It's the base. All right, let's drop to here. Okay, and then to there. And then hurt yourself. Oh, it didn't hurt myself. I am far too robust. All right, ping it again. We'll go the other way. I know it's further, but uh, it might be safe. Why don't you just go and build yourself a zapper? Because I'm completely out of copper. This, however, is coal, and it's directly across from my base. I've chosen an excellent place, you know. Not for early game. For early game, it's awful. Um, but for, for late, this is another source of coal. I've got two sources of coal right next door to my house. Magnificent. All right, well, the next closest source is a kilometre away. You up for a stroll? And if I said no? Well, it wouldn't really matter. You're either up for a stroll or you're not having any copper. There might still be some copper ha hanging around this wreckage. Well, there might, but that's, that's not sustainable, is it? No, it's not sustainable. Right, so shut up and get to work. All right, where are we going? It's this way a bit somewhere. Go on, where are you? It's not that one. That's the one that tried to kill me a minute ago. Ah, now, 770 that way, or 910 that way. Okay, well, where do you feel safer? I felt safer back in my drop pod. Yeah, okay, well, that's, that's no longer an option. Is that the desert out there? That might be safe. 870. Well, let's have a look and see what's, uh, what's over this... Uh, over the other side of this clearing, and then we'll we'll evaluate from there. All right, and if you come across anything else that's looking a little peckish, well, we'll run away. Quite obviously, we'll have that. Uh, I've got one already, but I'm I'm starting a collection. I'm going to get an album, and uh, and fill it full of green slugs. Right, let's uh, let's munch down on some on some nuts while we're uh, while we're in motion. Ping it again. What's the elevation on this thing? Didn't see. Okay. Alright. Okay, well this feels deserty. Now, grab some more nuts. There you go. What's that? Uh, you've got to keep your eye open for spider holes. Ah, right. Okay, now. That's very violent. Okay. Well, uh, it's good that you've identified that. Yeah, this is the Valley of Death. We've been here a lot while we were trying to recover our initial selves. Where are we looking? 5.30 that way. 8.20 that way. 5.30 up there a bit. Or round the corner. Are you sure you couldn't have made this any harder for yourself? I mean, you can't you can't blame the world for this. This is all on you. Uh, you did this to yourself because I don't know. You've got some kind of personality defect. Well, uh, just very nice of you to say so. Yeah, you're a rare and special individual. Oh, nice, lovely, good. Right now, let's go this way. There was another one over here somewhere. Keep pinging because we all like the pinging sound. 
which is fortunate because we're going to hear quite a lot of it. I, look, whatever it is that you're doing when you do that, I'm not interested. All right, you might be inviting me in for supper, but as far as I'm aware, you're probably likely to eat me. Okay, there's a there's a collection of uh, of wildebeest there, and uh, I'm sure they're a nice bunch of lads, but uh, I do not wish to engage. Right, there you go. Yeah, good. Well, we got full health. That's something. Still should have built my uh, my electro uh, rod, but I didn't. So we, we we roll with the dice that we've dealt ourselves. Oh, this looks this looks more civilized. Oh yes. What are you? Are you something I can interact with? No, I'm I'm decoration, mate. Okay, jolly good. Well, eight hundred yards this way. Look, there's a there's a friendly parrot. Give it a boot as we go past. And uh, and then maybe we'll we'll find something special. All right. Okay. Well, you know. Keep your eye open for special, everybody. Go on, where are we? We've got to be getting close by now. What's that there? 600 metres that way? No, we're closer than that. I'm, I swear that we're closer than that. We're not closer than that. Okay. Alright, what's that? That's oil. Good, we'll need that later as well. Uh, I mean, it's within a 1,000 metres, so, you know, that could be further. Could be closer. But uh, could also be further. Right, ping it again. Keep pinging. Just make sure it's not down. Right, Do a secondary ping, please. Where are you? You're right there. You're down. Oh, flipping egg. Okay, all right. If I had a tunneling machine, that'd be nice. Well, you don't. I know. So, uh, so you know, if wishes were ponies, you'd have a tunneling machine. Um, also, and I don't know how to mention this to you, this is where you died earlier. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, 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 so it is. It's just over yonder. Just over in that cold bit there. You've got a one of those, and those, those chaps are always absolutely ruddy delighted to see you. Now, the only good news... Oh, that, oh, ah. Oh, I'm out of the danger zone. You can stop being unpleasant to me. What about if I step here? Okay, thank you. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. What if I step here? Now, is this more oil, do we think? Is this just uh, an unnatural shadow with, a, with an eerie portent? No, I don't think it's an eerie portent at all. I think it's, I think it's oil. Or it's, it's pollu pollution. I haven't done anything to pollute. Oh, look at the Laguna. Ooh. It's just a lagoon. It's not a Laguna. A Laguna is nothing. Well, that's, that's not true, though, is it? All right, okay. How are we going to get down there without killing ourselves horrendously? Well, do you want to know the answer? Yes. Well, you've got two ways of doing it. All right, go on in. Well, the first way is you go round and follow your way around the edge of the mountain. That sounds like a drag. What's the uh, what's the other way of doing it? Jump off the edge and hope you don't die. Yes. Oh well, you wanted all the choices. Well, I I, I think hoping you don't die is is not really one that has proved to be very successful for us historically. What are you? Limestone. Good. We'll have that. Of course, I ought to be looking for limestone at the same time. It's not like uh, we're never going to need concrete again, now is it? Um, but uh, you know. Needs must. We'll we'll get this Doug now. Hello, Doug. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Well done. All right, okay, I got some got some stone in the backpack. Now a big trick here is not to get murdered by the native wildlife. We're going to work our way around and then to the uh, to the right in a downward fashion. You've got not gone anywhere near far enough. Okay, oh look, there's one of them. Don't walk towards it. I was about to say, look, there's one of those very dangerous beast monsters. And I was going to go and stroke it. And, uh... Am I snuffing it? I'm snuffing it. What is, what is this? Why am I in the danger zone? What's dangerous? Why is it killing me? I don't understand. What... What have I done wrong? 
Oh. Okay, well, whatever it is, it doesn't want me to go that way. Um, and now I'm very poorly indeed. And I've got quite a lot of stuff on me. Okay, I only want a bit of copper. It's not like I'm after the rarest thing this planet has to offer. Because the rarest thing this planet has to offer seems to be a, you know, a, a safe and comfortable working environment. Alright, let's go this way. There's nothing this way. Home is this way. What are you? Flower petals. Big whoop. Maybe if I wear them in my hair, the uh, the local wildlife will, will go like, Oh, look, at it's just a hippie. Leave him alone. He's, uh, he's more afraid of you than you are of him. Somehow I don't think that's going to pay off. Right. Hey, fruit. Good. Eat the fruit. Quickly. You never know when you're next going to run into some inhospitable environment. And Spock's going to pick stuff up on his tricorder and go, Captain, over here is inhospitable and violent. You go, yeah, thanks, Spock. I can see that for myself, given that I'm, you know, I'm turning bright blue and, uh, and I don't feel very well. Oh, good. More berry. Yeah. Give me that. All right. Yeah. Stuff it in my face hole. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why that was inhospitable and unfriendly, but it is. Oh, bacon! Sweet! Okay, yeah, eat the bacon. Eat bacon. Grand. Uh, eat fruit as well. We're going to keep ourselves topped up every time we get the opportunity. Uh, right, okay. Now then, proceed with caution. Now, so far, these blue geezers have done nothing to me. But that doesn't... Oh, no. Hello. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going down. Now, admittedly, this is probably into the belly of the beast that I've gone here, but uh, there's another haggis. Um, but going away from... Oy! Ducking immediate danger is always a winner. Uh, right, okay, we've charged towards immediate danger. That's way down, flipping neck. And, uh, yeah, right, okay, the hunt is on. That's it, go over here. Just keep your ears peeled for it starting to do that beep, 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 you're going to snuff it thing. Go on. Are we uh, are we close to anywhere valuable? Oh, get off me! Look, you should have given up by now. Uh, right, 800 metres or 700 metres. I suspect quite strongly I've already tried to uh, inspect the one at 700 metres. <laughs> I'll give him this. He's persistent. That's base. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we've we've cut them. Thanks, thanks, man. No, it's all right. I can make it from. I can make it on myself from here. Hey. I'll tell you something else. If I've got the materials, I'm making an electro rod. I'm fed up with you people. Uh, I can take you one on one. Right? Can he get into my shed? Let's assume no, and then be remarkably surprised when it turns out yes, he can. Uh, right, well, we've got some limestone. That's something, I suppose. Uh, grab the pale... No, 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 no. Save the pale berries. Eat the nuts, because uh, they're horrible. And also, you have to eat, you know, a metric ton of them. It's, I mean, it's like having granola. You know that it's healthier than some other things you could be eating, but you, you really don't want to be eating it. Good. Anyway, here we are in episode four, and we're working on copper, everyone. If, you've, if you're joining us midway through the episode, which is arguably the, the better time to do so, because uh, you'll have missed all of the initial setup where not a lot happens. Um, and you'll, you'll be midway through where not a lot happens. Arguably, there's not much difference between the two, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. Have I got any... I've got wire! I've got wire! Okay, right. Let's go make ourselves a pig sticker. Right, come over here. You. I need one of these. What do you need from me? We need some reinforced plates because, oh, we're so complicated. I'll tell you what would be better. Can I have two pig stickers, one in each hand? No. I've got some reinforced plate, though. There you go. You've got some of that, right? You need some cable. All right, I can whip up cable. Cable's no problem. How much of that have I got? Right, I can have 80 cable. Let's make 10. Because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to burn through uh, what little resource I have in the copper sense until I have found an alternate. Zapper, please. Right, good. Now the locals will fear my name. 
I think the name that they may have called me, however, is Lunch. So uh, how much fear is uh, is debatable. Uh, right, give me some more copper, iron. Iron, ingots. We've got 105 of them left. All right. Do not fritter these away. Yeah, okay. 20? I'll allow you 20. Then you're going to go and have to do the iron mining tedium again. Oh, I enjoyed it so much the first time. Well, that's just as well. Uh, right, okay, off we go again. Where are we going this time? Right, after a very minor amount of faffing around, uh, we've got belts to, uh, to every major resource up and running now. Well, I say every major resource. The first three resources up and running. Uh, this one you're already familiar with, of course, goes up to the iron. Uh, and then as we trot over this way, as we are inclined to do, uh, this one here will head up to uh, the, uh, the nearest copper field that we've got going on. Uh, not a wizard. Uh, this, is a, this is a copper field that is a field of copper. Uh, I'll even trot up there, look, because uh, I'm that way inclined. Can we get up there? Oh, you're, well, what do you know we can? Uh, here we go. Yeah. Now, these start to get a little bit more perilous, uh, the most of which, uh, the most perilous of which I'll show you in just a moment is the stone route. Um, but as you get up to this kind of height, uh, you can see, based on this elevation, that actually uh, everything that we've tried to, to get towards is on the same kind of level. So if we ping for copper this way, it's not actually th that far from here. Uh, it's still a meet, uh, 100 metres or so. 321? No, surely not. I suppose it is. Uh, but it's on this level. So, I mean, it's uh, it's reachable at least. Um, and it's uh, and it's on this level. But it is somewhat perilous to get up there. Now, once uh, once I have got up there compellingly, uh, then I'll run, uh, I'll run a belt in the most direct fashion possible in order to get back down. Now, in the background, you can probably make out, I mean, if I were to stand still, you can almost definitely make out, uh, the final belt there that is running up the side of that chasm, and we're going to go and trot up that next, which will be super. Now, this last belt, uh, you will also notice I've actually got the electricity plumbed in for, and that's because the first miner is up. Uh, you'll also see that the belt, rather than acting as a staircase, is uh, is actually configured to uh, to transport me. Uh, oh, right now, great. Uh, to transport materials all the way back down. It is fully linked up. This one took the most messing around. Probably took the best part of an hour uh, to wind my way up the side of the mountain here. And uh, well, it's it's not even a mountain so much as it is a cliff face, I suppose. Uh, but we've uh, you know we've got a few foundations plumbed in to uh, to support varying corners that we've got going on. Uh, hilariously enough, uh, over here is the uh, is the icy land of death, um, which I've actually ended up in a bit that's not too icy. My corpse, however, it does seem to have disappeared, which is a, a bit of a shame. But there wasn't anything on there that can't be and hasn't been replaced already. Uh, so as you get up here, we've got stone with a miner all plumbed in. The only thing that returns to do... Uh, re returns to do? That's, uh, is that a thing people say? It's not, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll press on regardless. The only thing that remains to do is, uh, is to plumb that into the electricity, and then we will have stone on tap. Uh, once we've got stone on tap, then uh, we'll be able to start building out in a, a far quicker fashion um, because uh, a great deal of what we're doing is reliant on, on getting foundations placed so that we can, uh, we can thread belts together a little bit more, a bit more readily. Uh, so the, the stone belt ends up here for the time being, um, exactly where it's going. I, I know, well, I know where it's going in the fullness of time. But at the moment, uh, it's just going to end up there. I may put a, a little storage, a little storage bunker for it, uh, but uh, initially, it can uh, it can just it can just lump it, ending in a dead end. Now you don't want two, you want one. Right, route that onto. Uh, where's me uh, Where's me power generator? There it is. Go on, get in there. That's it. Lovely. Right, good. That's the power generator plugged in, and then uh, just uh, bang a bit of the old biomass in there, and we should be good to go. We're good to go. 
Now oh, he should be uh, should be should be flying. Let's just go and make sure the power's turned on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all turned on by default, but you know it's worth checking. Uh, otherwise, you sit around for ages like a lemon, uh, waiting for waiting for your resources to come through, and and nothing turns up. Which is a bit of a Debbie Downer. Uh, right now, then, while I'm waiting for that to arrive, I will actually build uh, a constructor for it as well. Uh, oh, I'm missing reinforced plate. Oh, that's a drag. Reinforced plate's a bit of a hassle to build, but uh, but that's okay. Uh, because then we'll be able to auto craft that in a concrete, and I'm going to get through a heck of a lot of concrete. Right, reinforced. Watch them call it. Uh, we need some. Uh, oh, actually, I've got some screws. Where are you? Screws. Come here. There you go. And we need a bit of plate. Uh, my plate supply is is running pretty low. So, uh, so I probably want to get uh, iron hooked up next. You'll see that I've got a couple of portable miners on me, so that uh, when it comes time to make iron or uh, or get the um, uh, get the copper hooked up, I can just stroll up there and get it done. And actually, given how few iron plates I've got remaining at the moment, it might be worth doing that sooner rather than later. But uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Right, there we go. Yep, give me give me some of that, and then uh, one more. No, actually, only two more of those. So uh, so give me some more screws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super marvelous. Thank you. Right. Actually, you know what? I'll make I'll make all of these. And that way, I've I've made them. Uh, right. Okay. So we got a, we need a constructor out here, and if I, if my timing's good, I'll have the constructor done by the time the first uh, uh, the first goodies start coming down the belt. Uh, constructor. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Build it. Right. Where's uh, which one's in? Orange is in. Okay. Good. Yep. Stick that in there, and then I'll stick a. Uh, uh, what have we got here? Let's stick a storage container pretty much in front of it. Uh, hold that on there. Come on, line up, line up. You know you're keen to do so. In fact, the, the, the easiest way I've found to do it at the moment is to stand in front of the arrows so that the rear arrow and front arrow of the, uh, of the constructor are lined up and then try and line this one as well. And when you're close, you get that line appear underneath to say, yep, yeah, that's pretty close. So then you can just go kabosh, and uh, and the job is done. Right, root that into there. I mean, I could have put them a little closer, but that's close enough. And then uh, run a little bit of electrical cable, uh, so we get uh, we get that happening. Then uh, finish off the belt. Marvelous. No, oh, tell it what it's making. I mean, it should be able to tell for itself, really. I've got it's got stone coming in, but uh, you know, we'll we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's get it rolling anyway since I'm carrying some, and then let's go and see if we've actually got anything turning up. Because uh, I'm not seeing it yet. And, and while it has got quite a distance to travel, uh, it's going to be worth checking that uh, it is in motion, otherwise I've not hooked my miner up correctly. Or I've not turned me, told my miner that it can commence operations. Oh no, look, there we go. Ah, that's the stuff. Excellent. Right, so that's, that's come quite a distance. Uh, to get this far, but that means that I now have concrete on tap. Perfect. Good. And uh, and that will uh, take us to the bridge for today. Uh, we will uh, we'll we'll get out of here, and uh, and I will start work on the next operation. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, the next trick is going to be to set up a similar operation, but for iron plates. And, uh, and probably split one off to do iron pipes as well. Uh, is this the final configuration? No, it really isn't. This is definitely, definitely not the final configuration. I've got a clever idea in mind, and, uh, and it's now just a question of my executing on that clever idea. I'm going to keep talking until we see the stone come round the corner, because that will feel like a, a pleasant, ta-da, look at that for some... Uh, for some ambition fulfilled and some progress genuinely made uh right oh, what else is there to say subscribe to this series and no, that really didn't fill much time did it say it again i think you should probably take your time out there and uh and pull the trigger and subscribe to the series so you can catch up on what's happening next and uh and why not while you're at it hit the like button if you uh, if you had a, a bit of a giggle and uh, and some general mirth 
uh, over the course of today's episode. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio. Well, I mentioned to you on the outset that uh, if you'd come to see a magnificent factory being built, you were in the wrong place. Uh, I suspect you possibly believe me, uh, since we've now got through four episodes of this, and, uh, and I'm still yet to automate anything at all. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm still largely having a fracas with the wilderness and, uh, and its inhabitants. So, uh, so, you know, I don't anticipate that changing anytime soon. Anyway, we've now got, uh, we've now got iron and we've got copper. And I'm sure there's, there's other resources that will become uh, necessary along the way. And I'll, I'll figure that out as we, uh, as we press on. Anyway, I'm, I'm having a whale of a time on my intergalactic cosmic space adventure. And I'm sure you are as well. So uh, why not leave a comment telling me uh, what you would have done in a similar situation so that I can go, yeah, I'm sure you would, but you're not the one playing the game now, are you? No, I am. I'm the one playing the game, and therefore I'm playing it my own way. You can, you can play it however you like, but uh, that's not how I'm going to play it. No, uh, I'm keeping you guessing. Yeah, you're never going to know if I build a factory or not. Maybe I just keep larking about. Could happen. I, I don't know. I, I play these things as they come to me, and uh, this is how this one's coming to me, and that's how I'm playing it. Indeed.